want to talk about how you determine how good your beekeeping is and whether you're at your maximum potential for honey production. And the easiest way to do it is when you come to look at your hives, have a look to see what the vari hive to hive variation in honey production is. Now you have to do it in apiaries where you haven't balanced the hives. Because if you've gone and balanced the hive just before the honey flow, they will all look the same and you won't have a good measure on whether you've been doing a good job with your beekeeping or, or you're really not at your maximum potential. So, so colonies that you've not tried to balance and then look at the colony that has the most honey in, in it. Now that colony of course is with your current management systems you have, that's the best that you can have. So then you have to look at all the rest of the colonies and see what the difference is um, between those and the, your very best colony here. But not just those, you also have to look at the honey production or no honey production in the colonies that have died during the year as well. So, so you have to take that into account. So work out your, what, what all these other colonies have got, the average honey, including zeros for the dead colonies and compare that with your best colony. And what that tells you is that if the sorts of things you're doing to manage your colonies, you can do them better, this is potentially what you can get from your apiary. So it's a really good tell. If you wanna get more than that, of course, you have to be doing different things. So, and we'll talk about that in some other videos, but the very least you should be doing is recording in each apiary your best colony and then working out all the rest and what they've collected. You can do it by just frames of honey if you don't want to carry scales around. If you want to get fussy, you, you can do, you can carry scales around. But what it tells you then is you can put a monetary value on it. The difference in productivity from your best colony and the rest of your average, okay? That, that's, that's dollars and cents stuff. And you know how much money you can potentially invest in improving the management of everything to get them at your best level. But it's something every beekeeper should do. Um, it's always, if you're gonna do better management or more management, there is a cost associated with it, but at least you know what the potential increase you can get if you wanna do those things right. So in summary, your best hive is really what you can get with your best management at that site without doing major changes to what you're doing. Everything else in your apiary tells you what you are getting with your management, but what, what increases you could get if you made the tweaks to make everything as good as your best colony in that apiary.